Outside a lady who is prepared to be married to this young man, let her proceed into the church now. Crazy! 
the living Jesus Christ let us pray our father in heaven we thank you we appreciate you for all you have done for us this morning you are the one that ordered this program for today in your own way you have chosen today to be the day for your son and your daughter to come together like this to be joined together as husband and wife we know you have started this program in a wonderful way and we are trust you Lord that at the time this round we're running to an end and even going even to the time of the other, other activities, we pray, Lord, that you will take charge in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that is not of you, Lord, we pray, may you take it away from this place and even this vicinity and where they will be doing every other thing in the name of Jesus. We we'll pray, Father, for everyone that has been invited for this program. Lord, may you hasten their feet to come and partake and be a witness of this thing you want to do in the lives of these couples in Jesus' name. I will pray that at the end of it all, all the persons you are prepared to use, O oh Lord, you will fill them with your power and anointing in the precious name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we thank you because you know you are going to do much more than this. This we ask with thanksgiving through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We are going to the congregational hymn. At the congregational hymn, if you open to the program sheet in page 2, which says, there shall be showers of blessings. Can we all be on our feet as we take this congressional hymn? And the choir master is here to we'll come to.
to call on our father in the Lord, the resident pastor, who is going to be giving us the welcome address. That is your welcome, sir. Praise the Lord, church. If we are happy this morning, let's cheer the bride and the groom up through a clap of ring. Let's celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Amen. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Today is a day of joy, the day that the Lord has made. Amen. We've come to celebrate with Beatrice and Keziah. Now, gracing this very glorious service, uh, the ministers seated up here. And I will begin with the host pastors. First, we have... Pastor Elliot Ado, who is 
coordinating this service this morning. Let's appreciate the Lord for him. Next is the servant of God, the officiating minister, in the person of Reverend Blues Minor. Let's appreciate the Lord for him. We also have the evangelism coordinator of this local assembly in the person of Reverend David John, seated right up here. Now we have about four pastors coming from the same uh, denomination. I don't know whether possibly the same assembly, uh, led by Pastor John Baturi. He's coming from the Mountain of Fire Ministries, Karu. Welcome, sir. God bless you, sir. Uh, next is Pastor Femi Ido, also of the same ministry. God bless you. And we have also John Markey. Hallelujah. And then Kevin Essen. You're welcome. We also have from the Church of Christ in all nations, uh, the lead pastor of Kokin Guarimpa, Reverend Prince Will Dayak. You're welcome. God bless you. And we also have Evangelist Emos Sarki from Kokin Lugbe. Welcome. Uh, we are so delighted to have you back us up on this very glorious occasion. Uh, we pray the Lord will bless us all in Jesus' name. Now, the next is we would like to welcome specially the parents of the bride. The parents of the bride, can you just stand on your feet? Please, uh, the space for the parents of the groom is empty, but we know definitely the groom has parents, right? Domba de Gasama Yafadova, so Mumba de Gaskia, Hidimomi, possibly Sinsha Council Shiasa, Baswanan, the Safenan. The fellowship groups, singing groups present. We have the women fellowship already seated, Berimata for Musu Jamaa. And the sisters fellowship also seated. Let's appreciate the Lord. And the praise band, the brethren praise band, let's appreciate them. God bless you. I want to recognize the presence of uh, maybe the extended family members of the bride first. Dengi na Amaria, the Siki Achikin Wanan, Masujada at the Safenan, Zamosu, Su, Mika Hanansu, Su, Yihaka, the Mamagansu. Amen. Welcome. God bless you. Tapangere angoma munasu musan musanku maganku mukuma marabchiku. Dan kazu kinzo abangere ango. Let's see your hand up. Thank you. God bless you. You are all welcome. If we do have any other minister of the gospel that is seated in the pews, we would request that such a one to please join us. Here, idan akwai mai bishara mai wa'azin bishara wanda yazo domin wannan sujada da safin nan da yake zaune a cikin jama'a ya zo tare da mu anan domin mu yi wannan hidimar tare idan babu to duk mu da muke a nan mamon wadatar ubangiji yayi mana albarka let's appreciate the friends of the bride let's appreciate them and also the friends of the groom, let's appreciate them. Now, last but not the least, Amaria Kimiki Ase, Kidang Gay the Jamaa, the Hanu Haka, but a quenchy Kiba, Ama, Nasang Hanu, Ze Iamiki. Just wave your hand to, yes. You're welcome. Please be seated. Uh, the groom, can you do the same, please? Amen. Yeah, this is 
important because God said he is a witness between you and your bride. He is a witness when you and the wife of your youth, you know, we are being joined together. And we also are witnesses. You know, this is something that couples do forget that there were witnesses during their vows to each other. Never you forget this day. And never you forget that there were witnesses when you were making the vows. And ultimately, God is a witness. And this should uh, keep your bones together. I mean, keep your bones together forever and ever. On behalf of the leadership of this local assembly and the whole members we do welcome all of you who travel far and near to grace this occasion even as we also congratulate Beatrice and Kezia as they will be taking the vows to remain committed to each other as husband and wife for the rest of their lives I pray that we will enjoy God's presence in this service both from here and even to the reception ground in the name of Jesus. My name is Caleb Silvanus Dakwak, the resident pastor. God bless you. We just had a welcome address from the resident pastor. We want to go to the song ministrations from various groups that are present in the church. I want to start Sisters Fellowship. Do you have Okay, we start with the Sisters Fellowship, followed by the band, then the Women Fellowship will be the one to round up the administration. Thank you. Yes.
Praise God. Hallelujah. We have a song to minister. And we know that this has been a prayer point for you. And the Lord has brought it to pass. So we are here to share your testimony that the Lord has done it. And that it is marvelous in our eyes. May we bless us with this.
Trusting God that the bride and the bridegroom have listened to the various presentations from the various singing groups in the church. And we're trusting God that every advice, every prayer that has come forth through those ministrations 
that the Lord will help you to make use of them for the betterment of your lives in Jesus' name. We want to go to the next program on the sheet, which is bringing the word of God from the servant of God. I want to trust God that God has prepared his servant whom he's going to use. So we want to invite him to the pulpit as he comes forth to take the word of God. Can we give Jesus a round of applause? Hallelujah. I bring greetings in Jesus' name. I thank God for giving me this opportunity to add to the ministrations of our subgroup. I will not going to take our time much, but uh, I will just say a few things then the officiating minister will take over from there. Let's turn to the book of uh, Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7. Some people did not bring their Bible. The reason is uh, after the church program, they will go to the reception area so they don't want to carry the Bible to the church during wedding. That is the reason sometimes. That is why you can see now the bride, no Bible, and the groom also no Bible. Even the friends, nobody carry Bible, uh, which is, soon, is not that good. So I'm reading from uh, Matthew 7, number 25, verse 25, 24, please, to 27. The word of the Lord is saying, Therefore, everyone who hears their words of mine and put them into practice is like a wise man who built his home house on the rock. The rain came down, the stream rose, and the wind blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears the word of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on a sand. The rain came down, the stream rose, and the wind blew and beat the house, and it fell with great crush. May the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. We are in prayer. Father, this is your word that we have just read. Speak to our heart now. Use me and as an instrument to encourage us at this time. Bless your word. Make your word to have a life in our hearts. This is our prayer with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We are gathered here because of our brother, Beatrice, and uh, our sister, Kezia. And uh, we bless God for the subgroup. I've encouraged you. I've said some words. If you people can listen carefully and take it into consideration, I think uh, the subgroup have already finished everything. But I just want to say, as I mentioned a few words, and the title that I just titled this place is that Lasting Love in Marriage. Lasting Love in Marriage. Love is what I've already missed in some homes. Some homes have already missed the love. And I just want to encourage us again that this new coming couples, that please maintain your love. Maintain your love. And I say a few things here as an introduction. I say when we talk of lasting, it's something that exists long time and it's something that has no limit. It's original. That is lasting. Something that can last is something that is original. And what you are trying to do today is an original thing. Uh, it is a new thing in your lives. So please make it to last. Some of the home, they are just staying, but something have already missed. So when we say last, 
is something that is original. No limit and it stands. And when we talk of love also, I say love here, Bible definition of love is patient, kindness, do not do envy, does not boast, does not proud, does not dishonor, not even angry, not delayed in evil, delighting in evil. Only thing that love do is rejoicing in truth. Rejoicing in truth. And the love that we are going to talk about, though the love that I'm standing on is what we call agape love. Unconditional love. You love one another, not because of something, because of Christ that have joined you together. So I'm saying that, Beatrice, the love that we are going to talk about, Kezia, the love that I'm going to talk about is here unconditional love. You're not just love Kezia because of her beauty or because of this and that, because she is an image of God, and God has already given it to you. So that is what we call a, a love. And the only thing that love is rejoicing in is truth. Only truth. And the other things, love is not uh, rejoicing about them. And when we talk of marriage also, is a union between two people, two people coming together to become one. That is the definition of Bible, biblical definition. The two becoming one, and the becoming one now is the issue that we are struggling with in our family today. Becoming one is something that you need to work on. As you work on, and it will grow, and it will grow and manifest himself. So you live from one stage to another stage, to another stage, to another stage. That is why we say marriage have a many stage. But the worst stage in marriage is the reality stage. When you reach reality stage, at that stage, it's so very difficult. At that stage that you will understand your wife, and your wife will understand you. So it's a coming together of man and woman. It's a combination, mixing. Mixing two people to become one. You bring Fanta and bring Coke and you mix them and you cannot separate them. So that is mixing things together. That is a, a marriage. And the Bible says also, is a physical coming together. Physical one. Physical one. Is a physical and uh, coming together. And the Bible says also, is man to leave his father, his mother, and cleave to his wife. That is the definition of marriage in the Bible. So, Miss Kezia, Sister Kezia, have already left her father and mother, and she's now on the way coming to your home. And the Bible is saying that you as a man now, you will leave your father also, leave your mother, and come to Kezia, and you will be in center. So that is why the Bible did not say a woman should leave his uh, father because already, already, she has said bye-bye to them. Now he is on the way coming to you. By the grace of God, in a minute to come, you will see Kezia have already been yours in your home. So the Bible is saying now, the Bible is now defining marriage that you shall leave your parents, mother and father, and come to her. Now you will become one. Her parents is there, and your parents are there, and you are now on your own. That is independent life. So you are coming to an uh, independent life. And I say also it is a covenant. The Bible defines it as a covenant. And the Bible defines it as a covenant and order. That is what I say now. It is order from the Lord. So when we say lasting love in marriage, it is what we are yearning to have in our home today, as I mentioned first, that we need to have lasting love. When love fades in our home, you will see it. Everybody will be on his own. Everybody will stand on his own when love fades. And when we look, some homes, love already fades. So in your own today, you are starting new thing, and you are starting new home. Please make this love that are starting today to stand not to live 
I said love, marriage, and conflict work together. You cannot separate marriage and conflict. Death is the only thing that can separate marriage uh, and conflict. But love in your home, when you make that lasting love in your home, the Bible says love covers multitude of sin. So please, make a lasting love in your home. Where we just read, Jesus teach about two kinds of home. One who builds on the sand and the other who build on the rock. The one that builds on the sand, the Bible says it falls. When wind come, when rain come, and everything come, it beats the hairs and the house fall because it have no foundation. It have no foundation. The foundation is on sand. That's why it falls. But another one said, the another home is the one that built on a rock. The same challenge come to this one too. The one on the sand and the one on the rock, the same challenges, the same force come on them. But that one stand. That one stand. Because it have good foundation. It have good foundation. So the Bible even described that the person that built his house on the sand is a foolish man. Not a foolish woman, but foolish man. Today, Beatrice, this is a new home for you. Isaiah is a new home for you. And the Bible says also the person that built on the rock is a wise man. And we are praying that this new home will be a wise home, not a foolish home in Jesus' name. And the Bible says, as the, the Bible defines that, the two houses that have built on the sun and on the rock. When we say building your marriage on the rock, meaning that you will follow biblical principles. You will follow Bible standards of marriage because God has his own standard and you all also have their own standard. When you follow the philosophy of the world, the ideas of the world, the head knowledge of the world to build your home, it will not bring you peace into your homes. Many people think that the head knowledge can make peace, can make this, can make this, can bring this into home. Nothing can bring peace in the home. The only thing that can bring peace, that can make love last in your marriage, is you build your home. And the rock we, we are talking about, we're talking about Jesus. And when we say uh, son, I cannot say it is devil, but I cannot know, but you know, anything that is not good, we define it as a, from the devil. So please, I'm encouraging you, as the Bible is saying that it is a wise man that have already built his home on the good foundation, on the rock, and the rock is Jesus. I'm encouraging you today that please try to build your home on Jesus. Building your home on Jesus, it is what will determine how your home will be, how your marriage will be. So when you build it on the sun, on the things and the philosophy of the world, I'm telling you, you will fail. You will fail. And we're not praying for that for you. We're praying that the Lord will help you, both of you, to build your house on Jesus. And I want to tell you also, coming to church and joining you in the church, an officiating minister come to officiate in the wedding does not make that home to be a Christian home. It doesn't. It doesn't. What makes your home to be a Christian is you. Your relationship with God is you, Kezia, your relationship with God. If both of you are not born again, it will not make your home Christian home. Coming to church does not make anything to be a Christian home. Yes, we will do it. All this and that and that and that and that. But the truth is that how is your relationship with God? How is your relationship with God? 
that is why you are just doing it for doing sake. Uh, my brother do it with church wedding, so me too, I should do it. But there is nothing like Christ in. So we'll do it because we are human. Since we cannot examine your heart, God who knows the heart is the person that can examine the heart. So we, the ministers, we are coming fully with faith, doing it with faith that you people are Christians. In times you see when after the wedding, you see some conflict coming in. But I say conflict is there, and conflict will not relieve uh, marriage. So, um, leading with you that please try to make your home Christian. Try to make love to live in your home. So I advise, I advise almost to conclusion. I advise that. Guide your fidelity in marriage. As you guide your fidelity in marriage, your love in marriage will live long. I say, correct each other with humility. Don't fight just like that. As you correct each other with humility, last love will remain in that home. Guide your marriage and marriage bed from adultery. Don't go out. Don't go out. As you do that, your love will live forever. The spirit of forgiveness should be in your home. That will make love lasting in your home. Because marriage is a union, as I said, for us, that is a union between two sinners. So forgiveness will be our constant guest in the house. Yes. When you delete forgiveness in the house, you will have problem. So the spirit of forgiveness should be there. Because conflict is there anytime in our he comes. And I say, the things that you people will accumulate will go. Even your children will go one day. They will leave you. They will go and build their own homes. And your job, you can lose your job. And bet the issue of forgiveness is there. It remains entire until both of you die. So please, that spirit of forgiveness will make your home to be what? To live long. So please don't do away with the spirit of forgiveness. I'm saying last here that seek God in everything. Seek God in everything. As God has led you, to where you are today. And we're trusting God is the will of God that are leading you to where you are today and this hour. So please seek him throughout your marriage. Throughout your marriage. Many of us here have an experience. They can give you an experience. They are now regretting. They are now reg regretting. So please seek God in everything that you do. You will not regret later. And I say, fix your eyes also on him. That is God. Don't fix your eyes on any person. Depend on him, trust in him. Do everything on him. Him, Jesus, that I have brought you together and you are going to be husband and wife today. Please fix your eye on him. Do not turn back on him. When you turn back on God, he will leave you and you will suffer. You will suffer. You will suffer. And God has already promised that if he fixes your eye on him, he will not leave you, he will not forsake you. So please, fix your eye on Jesus. Be wise man. Be wise woman. Don't be foolish man. Be truth. Don't be foolish man. Build your home on Christ. Kezia, don't be a foolish woman. Build your home on Christ. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your heavenly blessings. Whenever you're speaking, we understand clearly that you have a message for direction towards your people. We thank you and worship you because the word that came was from you, aimed at giving us a sense of direction by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
We ask you, Lord, that let this family be driven by your power. We ask you, Father, that any man that is blessed like you bless Abraham, so shall it remain. And so we're calling on heavens to be a witness that these children who identify themselves with you and have honored your name and want you to be part of their marriage, please, Lord, let your covenant, of course, you are a covenant-keeping God. Let your covenant be in this house. Let these children be blessed by you. Let their names, O oh Lord, go further and further. Let the glory of the Lord be in this house. Let this woman, O oh God, be like Sarah, that she became a mother to the nations. We are trusting you. We are also trusting you, God, that you will help this man to build his house and to ensure that the house remains strong. No weapons of the enemy shall conquer your house in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is with you. He will favor you. His spirit will guide you and shall be your defender. No external force that shall come that will overpower you. Let the love of God be experienced in this house. And at last, Lord, this house shall be favored. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. They used to say a word is enough for the wise. And we trust God that the bride and the groom, they are wise people. I can see it in their eyes and even in their smiles. I know that they are very, very wise. And that wisdom of God will not depart from you in Jesus' name. We want to go to the solemnization of our brother and uh, the wife to be. Rabitrus and Sister Kezia, I want to call on the servant of God who will be doing the joining uh, in person of Reverend Bulus Mena. Can we give a clap and clap to Jesus as he comes forward? I greet us in Jesus' name. We are all welcome to the moment of the joining of our, our brother. Brother Beatrice, Terry Musa, and uh, our sister Kezia John Sini. Um, we thank God for the crops of ministers that are part of uh, this service and as witness to this uh, solemnization of holy matrimony between the two. Uh, please, the bride and the groom to be, could you be on your feet? Thank you for that. Look at the crop of people that are here. These people have prayed with you. They wish well for you. They contributed in kind and in cash for the success of this joining and even prayed for the home you are going to establish. So the resident pastor in his uh, welcome speech talked about God being a witness and also people as witness to what you're about to do. So I just want you to look, start from the ministers. Is there, look at this side. Um, Beatrice, look at the ministers here. Look at this Muntamata there. Are you looking, not me, look at this Muntamata. Look at the sisters fellowship. Uh, if needs you to turn, you can turn. Look at your friends behind you. Look at the congregation at the other side. Look at those at this side. Look at the uh, brethren, praise band. All these people are here to witness the journey. And their prayers is that you are going to make a Christian home. So we pray that what we are about to do now, that we have already prepared the ground from the beginning of the service through this sermon that we just heard, that God will be part of it. 
your home that you are about to establish will not be any other home. What we are going to do now should not be formalities, but let the presence of God be part of it from now. The preacher said it's a journey and it should be consistent. May the Lord bless your marriage in Jesus' name. Keep standing, please. Brothers and sisters, we are gathered here today before God to solemnize Beatrice and Keziah in a holy matrimony instituted by God and Jesus blessed such marriage. Let us be reminded that God instituted it and blessed it so that people will be happy and rejoice. It is in view of this that man will leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. Through the teaching of the apostles, we know that those who marry love each other, honor each other, help each other, endure suffering, comfort each other in times of sickness, in times of joy, or in times of tears. Take care of their home and walk in truth to provide food and clothing for their family. They should be prayerful, asking God to help them live as Christians, so as to live as the heirs of the kingdom of God. So the preacher said, she has already left her parents. So please, could you start coming? You have not yet reached. Come. And the preacher said he will leave his parents as well. So start leaving the, your parents' house so that you come and meet where you are going to establish your home now. Thank you. You are welcome. So that they should be faithful in the holy matrimony and fulfill their vows of love. Could you sit down, please? I will call you when the time comes. Thank you. Who then will give this lady to this young man to get married to? Wanine Zebada, Keziah, Welcome, sir. Can we have a uh, mic? Please give him the mic. Um, you tell us, tell us who you are, that's your name, then your relationship with her. My name is Elulu D.W. Kwaga. Her uncle. She's my niece, my brother's son, daughter. Thank you, sir. Have both families sorted out everything concerning this marriage? Yes. Thank you. Madam, are you good, Abba? Give him mother, I'm going Amen. So, if it is your wish and that of the family to give Keziah to Beatrice to get married to, could you hold her hands by right hand and give it to Beatrice? Wait, wait. Although everything has been paid, I want to say one thing. Uh, Beatrice, 
This is Kezea Kwadakwaka. The name Kwadakwaka is very precious to us. He's the founder of Nichika. If you hold our well, to be truly the founder of your home, you have heard the message. No externalities. Hold half and we'll be glad. I hand over to you in the name of the Father, Amen. of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Baba. You may take your seat. When time comes, we'll need you again. Thank you. Marriage is a good thing ordained by God. When he created them, man and woman, we also know that there will be peace in the home if there is support. and understanding of each other because these things make life for both the man and the woman. Those who marry with the fear of God think carefully and understand their marriage is great responsibility. Their hearts are full of joy and love. People believe you have already thought over this in your hearts and understood the vows you are about to make today. If you will observe everything the Lord has introduced us with joy, you will be happy. If this is your intention, that you be joined as husband and wife in Christ's um, marriage, may you join your right hands. But before you do that, unveil her so that we'll be sure this is the woman you have sought her hands for in marriage. So turn and face each other. Is she the one? Yes, sir. Thank you. Friends, you can join them now. Let us pray. Gracious Father, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, You create man and woman and you have ordered that they should get married, live in harmony, replenish and fill the earth and take care of your creations as well as taking care of each other. We thank you, God, for Beatrice and Kezia. It is your will that they join together as husband and wife. And this is the moment that heaven is open in order to bless them as husband and wife. They have come because they left their parents' house. And they are here, Lord, in your presence, you being the first witness. And here before the congregation as second witnesses. And also standing before your altar that they take their vows to each other. We pray, God, that this will not be just a formality but it will be rooted deep down into their hearts. And that gold, you will be part of it. And they will not depart from each other. They will not depart from you. And that their home shall be established on the foundation that you have already 
led. Thank you. Pray that as I officiate, your anointing, Lord, will visit me in a special dimension. That God, the anointing will fall upon them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. So if it is your wish to get married to each other, join your right hands and look through the eyes of each other. Now you shall take your vows before God in the presence of these witnesses. I will read the vows and you will repeat the vows after me. We begin with the bride, with the groom, I mean. I, I, Beatrice Terry Musa. Thank you. Thank you, Keziah Johnson. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I will love you. I will love you. Cherish and comfort you. Cherish and comfort you. In times of suffering. In times of suffering. I will take care of you. I will take care of you. In times of sickness. In times of sickness. And in times of good health. And in times of good health. Pleasure and joy. Pleasure and joy. I have left all other women. 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 Look at her eyes. I have left all all other women i have left all other women and live with you alone and live with you alone as my wedded wife as my wedded wife till death do us part till death do us part amen, amen. <laughs> And for you, Keziah. I. I. I, Keziah Johnson. Take you. Take you, Beatrice Musa Terry. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I will love you. I will love you. Cherish and comfort you. Cherish and comfort you. In times of suffering. In times of suffering. I will help you. I will help you. In sickness and in good health. In sickness and in good health. I have left all other men. 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 Now look through his eyes. I have left all other men. I have left all other men. And live with you alone. And live with you alone. As my wedded husband. As my wedded husband. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Amen. Amen. God, we still commit them into your care. Now it's time that you are joining them. We pray that whatsoever you have joined shall never be put asunder forever. In Jesus' name. Since Beatrice Terry Musa and Keziah John Sini have taken the vow of marriage and by the power vested in me, by the church of Jesus Christ, I now declare them a husband 
and wife in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. What God has joined together, let no man or woman put asunder. What God has joined together, let no man or woman put asunder. What God has joined together, let no man or woman put asunder. Amen. You can take your seat. Um, let's ministers please will you come so that we pray leadership in their home. We'll first begin by appreciating God. So our brother from Koking uh, um, Lube will pray. Appreciate God for what he has done from the beginning of their love to one another to the decision to be wedded to each other through the consultations of the family and also the involvement of the church and the preparations up to this time. Let's thank God for all that God has done and have brought this to reality. So you pray this prayer for us. And uh, our daddy um, from uh, the, the leading pastor that lead these people from uh, Mountain of Fire uh, Daddy John, you are going to pray and ask God for a special blessings over this family. That even as God has made them a husband and wife, they are beginning now. Let God begin with them and end with them. Every blessing that they need in order to keep this home going, that God will favor them and will provide to them through whichever means that God wants to favor them. And all other things that God will lay upon your life and the two of you will pray on our behalf. While they are praying, we can join them in prayers as well. Shall we be on our feet? He has done us well. He has done us well. And wonderful things that is have done in the lives of our dear children. Father, we give you praise. We worship your name. Give him praise. Worship him. Father, we thank you. 
Father, we thank you. We worship you. And we also invite the presence of God in this family. The Bible says, anyone who built his home on the rock, that person is a very wise. We ask, O oh God of heaven, let the heaven of this groom to be open personally and remain open in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask that you will give them wisdom, knowledge spiritually and physically in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for which you have for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Our Lord and Heavenly Father, we thank you. Glory, honor, and adoration we bring unto you on behalf of these, your wonderful children that you have brought together today. Father, the Bible says in the beginning, God created them, man and woman. We thank you for bringing them together, bone finding its bone, its counterpart, and flesh finding its flesh counterpart. Glory be unto your name. Honor be unto your name. Adoration be unto your name. Your word says one we chase a thousand and two we chase ten thousands. Therefore, Lord, we commit these, your children, into your hand. We want you to open heaven for success, for blessings, for fruitfulness, for favor in every area of their life, for promotion, for protection. In the mighty name of Jesus, everything they are going to need, Father, for this marriage to work well, for people to say, how are you doing it? Oh, God, my Father, let it manifest in their lives in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness here of the world that they that dwells here in. Father, we pray, all your creation, let them begin to walk in their favor in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, any good door that the enemy wants to shut against your children, do not permit it to happen in the name of Jesus. Let the door of favor open for them. Door of success open for them. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we want you to be the captain of this ship that your children just boarded now. Therefore, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, every good thing of life that they will need, peace, joy of the Lord. Lord, let that be available unto them in the name of Jesus. In this marriage, you will not struggle. All the good things that you are supposed to have, you will not beg for them. They will come of their own volition. In the mighty name of Jesus, God has made you one today. No power in heaven and on earth will put you asunder. Powers of your father's houses, powers of your mother's houses that will come together against you. They will collide with the rock of ages. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise. In the name of Jesus, hide them inside of you. In the name of Jesus, we want you to come to them and hide them inside of you. In the name of Jesus, no arrow of affliction will prosper in their lives. No arrow of lack will prosper in their life. No arrow of poverty will prosper in their life. No arrow of ill health will prosper in their life. In the mighty name of Jesus, keep them together as one and let it be well with them. Enlarge their coast in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We are seizing this opportunity to also pray for all those who are waiting on you for such a day as this. Let it come speedily in the name of Jesus. And to those who are saying amen, let your day of celebration manifest in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Heavenly Father, for in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name we have prayed.
Friends, please. Do we, do you have a, a symbol of love to give to each other? Let me have it. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for bringing us together to witness this day which you have made. You said we should rejoice and be glad in it. Father, the ceremony has been conducted under your voice. You have instructed, you have spoken. Now, this is words that will be used to seal it. Let it become the power of God in their life in the name of Jesus let it always remind them of this day whenever the devil or an evil intruder want to go into their marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, today we soak this marriage in the blood of Jesus. We surround it with Holy Ghost fire. Let this material be your witness in their life in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, may we pray. You repeat this after me as you bless the ring in her finger. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Son. And in the name of God the Holy Spirit. And in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Son. And in the name of God the Holy Spirit. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. So it's now time for you to sign your marriage certificate. So you can go to that seat on the table.
Be 
Hold her. She's now your own. Hold her tight, please. To the glory of God, this is the newest couple in the town. And this is their certificate of marriage. As always said, during such a time, it is a journey that has a beginning. You can fix a date for the beginning, but you don't have the date for the ending. And it is an institution that you join, you don't know when you are graduating. For that, at admission, and registration you now get your certificate and this will serve as witness and as reminder for you that you were once in EYN LCC Utaku on October 12, 2024 to get wedded to your beautiful wife Desire, and also to get wedded to a uh, handsome uh, husband, Beatrice. And all that have been said shall be a witness to you. Therefore, I read Ecclesia and Ua in Nigeria, Church of the Brethren in Nigeria, Certificate of Marriage, Marriage Confirmation between Beatrice, Terry Musa, and Keziah, formerly John Sni, and now Keziah Beatrice Terry Musa. The solemnization was done at EYN LCC Utaku, Abuja, on October 12, 2024, and was officiated by Reverend Minor Blue Spinder. And these are the witnesses that represented all of us, Dauda Dibal Ghana, Anita Vincent, and Adams John Sini. So I will present the certificates to you in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. So standing before us now is Mr. and Mrs. Beatrice Musa Sini. I call on the pastor's wife to come and present a gift on behalf of the church. The assistant. Pastor Wan's wife. So if um, Pastor Elliot, come and coordinate, please. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. It's time for every other persons or groups that have a Bible or any gift they want to give to the newly wedded couples, please, this is the time for that. So you can come out to come and give to them.
Please, can somebody help me to give them the microphone? Yes, please. You have the time. This is the time to come out to give them the, gift, the Bible gift. Deuteronomy 11, 18 to 21 says, if we put this book in your heart, you tell your children, verses 19 and 21 says, you will live long and your womb will be fruitful. And therefore, give this word of God. Based on these texts, you will be fruitful. You will be live long, and you will see your children, children. In the name of the Father, Amen. of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Daddy. Is there any other yes, gift for the couples as they before the? Yes, any other one? Okay, that's. Imp want to go to the next? Uh, item on the program we want to ask the brethren brand to assist us in this uh, by giving us songs as we take our offering can we all be on our feet as we take the offering Seek ye first the kingdom of God, the old, and his righteousness. If you not do, I'm so everything else. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, the old, and his righteousness. If you not do, I'm so everything else. Shout out, hallelujah. 
round of applause unto the Lord. Let's give a shout of joy unto the Lord. Amen. Um, could you pray over the offering? Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, out of the abundance you've given, we've brought this token. Bless it in Jesus' name. Let it be used to the glory of your name. Thank you, Father, because you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please, could you move the offering basket? Um, we will. We have come to the end, but before we go, um, the Spirit led me to do one thing for the couple before they go. Please, could you come and kneel at the altar there? Just kneel either the, the first or the second step. We are going to pray for them. You know, in such gathering, there could be evil people. They have shook hands with so many people. If there is any cause, we are in the house of God. If there is any cause that someone lays upon them as they shake hand, we are going to reverse it in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we thank you for this multitude of people that have come to witness this wedding. We appreciate you, Lord, even as they honor Beatrice and his wife, Keziah. Lord, you will honor them in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for everyone that has made this wedding to be success right from the beginning up to this time. God, we thank you for everyone that has spent his resources from far and near to come and grace this occasion. Lord, we say thank you in Jesus' name. In such gathering, as your children gathered, the enemy could sneak in as well to plant something that is not of you. Oh God, we pray even as we rejoice, we dance, and we facilitate with them, if there is any hand that has placed a curse on this family, by the power of Jesus Christ, even as they kneel before your altar, we reverse it in Jesus' name. That God, whatsoever you degree in their life, so shall it be in Jesus' name. Lord, the enemy will not have impact over their lives in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. You can stand. Take some step forward. Turn, turn about turn. And, uh, uh -huh. Please, friends, come and help them. Go. There you go. Left, right, left, right, left. Right, go until I say hold, go, 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 attention, uh -huh. friends please could you file behind them? Be on our feet. Bright friends, please. Anywhere, please, we are waiting for you so that we begin. So we will honor them after the benediction. They will walk out first, then we will file behind them. So, very much, Adua. Allah, may you go to Allah may jinkai, Allah may kauna.
mun gode maka domin wannan kyakkyawan zarafi lalle hakika mun ga ikon ka wannan aure wanda kai da kanka ka hada albarka da ƴaƴanka suka furta a gare su lalle haka zai kasance a cikin sunan Yesu ya Allah uba za su fita su zo su ci gaba da biki a wajen biki bari sunanka ya samu dauka ka duk abin da shedan zai kawo a wajen biki Allah mun kawo su a cikin sunan Yesu wannan bayinka zaka tsare su zaka sa musu albarka Allah duk mutanen da za su hadu za su zama wa'inda za su sa musu albarka mun gode maka Allah bari iko da daukaka na ubankije Allah ya kasance tare da duka wannan jama'a bari kauna irin ta Yesu wanda ya zo ya mutu domin zunuban mu ya kasance a rayuwan kowanne mu anan haka nan kuma jagoranci irin ta ruhu mai sarki ya je tare da ƴaƴanka a duka inda za su sa sawayen su daga yanzu har abada abadin amen go in peace and serve the lord